we're gonna do today Canizaro reaction that's the one of the reagent we're gonna use to color our benzyl diet and potassium hydroxide crushed I will use two milliliter of two chloro benzyl diet two milliliter of two chloro benzyl diet I'm transferring that to my reaction flask And that's the initial color. And I will do crush that with string rod Mix, stir that up with the string rod like at least 30 minutes to see if reaction is done and of course it's getting warm right now the color changed to the yellow After five minutes, that's the color we have. Co reaction time is up, and as you see, it's totally now yellow. So, so now I'm gonna add water. I add five milliliter water, and now so let me stir that up well. That's how it looks like right now after adding water. As you see, we have some solid on the bottom, which we're expecting this is gonna be alcohol. And in aqueous layer, we gonna we had, as I explained in the lab lecture, it's a salt of the carboxylic acid so we have to filter this up and then we're gonna do neutralize the basic salt with the HCl to convert that to benzoic acid or the vacuum setup vacuum tubing filter paper right size adapter and that's around the back transferred my aqueous layer to the beaker and I'm gonna add one molar ACS solution to make acidic that solution so let's see if we're gonna get the benzoic acid as you see when each drop when we're adding the benzoic acid forms 
I'm going to gonna mix that up. It's disappearing because it's still basic. So I'm just keep adding. Let's see how much we're gonna use. After we add enough amount of the hydrochloric acid, one molar, as you see, we got our benzoic acid. To clear the benzoic acid, it's ready now, I'm gonna filter that up. transferred everything to chlorobenzoic acid is that that's our product and we're gonna try to figure out how much product we're gonna benzoyl alcohol to chlorobenzoic acid.